back, everybody. This is a banter with the brothers extra. This is bar for bar with Carl. It's been yeah, a while since we've since we've been able to do this, but the series is back. The people have been asking. The streets is talking. The streets is watching. Carl, you ready to deliver for the people? First of all, I ain't gonna hold you. That's a that's a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like that was <laughs> that intro. You know what I'm saying? I'm back. You know to the music. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt like a lot of people, you know, hit me up and was like, yo, where the bar for bar go? You know what I'm saying? It ain't go nowhere. We bringing it back. You know what I'm saying? Jevy also bringing back that love advice. I think that's going to be Can't crazy. I that think is. That is. Crazy. Um, Jevy going Jevy to get a lot of y'all right. Don't worry. Just wait on it. Jevy, Jevy finna be like, you You ever see Angela Lee Yee's uh, lip service? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the, it's going to be the hood lip service. <laughs> yo, that's too funny. Uh, we gonna have to call Jevy Angela Yee from here on. Now playing <laughs> Angie, <laughs> Angie Yee, you know, shout out your man, Angela G. <laughs> nah, nah, he really go. He, he's really gonna get y'all right. Enough joking, enough joking with that. Yeah. But today on Bar for Bar, we are gonna break down three little baby songs. Uh, baby has been gaining a lot of traction this year. A lot of people, you know, are putting him in the top three. Uh, they're saying it's the, it's his year, uh, especially with his latest release. So the three songs we're gonna get into uh, get into today for y'all is the bigger picture, his most recent song, "We Paid," and "All In" off uh, his most recent album. So let's uh, start things off with the bigger picture. Carl, kick it off for the people. You know, give them what they've been waiting for. Man, I know if y'all was waiting like me for the baby, you know what I'm saying, little baby out here with the bigger picture. Now, when he first said he was gonna drop this, I looked at it. I said, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of Atlanta artists, not even Atlanta artists, a lot of artists try and tackle these uh not political, but like social uh problems that go on in the world. Mm-hmm. And when you think about it, like you're kind of worried. It's just like, yo, do I really want to know what little baby thinking about going on right now? You know what I'm saying? And he Did delivered. you think you would be able to deliver? I once again it's a fifty fifty. Like, do I want to hear a future talk about the bigger picture? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, did you? But did you think you wanted to hear Lil Baby talk about the big picture? Me personally, I did, just because he's an upcoming okay. artist, and I wanted to hear his take. You know, um, I think a mm. couple of other artists, you know, not trying to get off topic, uh, did really good. LL Cool J came back, <clears throat> dropped the meanest. He first off, LL, I understand that this was for for the moment, but you gotta talk to your publisher because that that was fire. Like that, bro. You you listen to him, bro. The way he spit that, I said, bro. I need, so serious. To, I need to go listen to uh, Cool J more. Like, that's what it made me feel like. Like, I was missing. He was out. really reminding people that, you know, he, he is a legend. Facts. Facts. And and at that time, you, you could tell why he was a legend. You know, it was kind of like uh, when Common did the uh, All-Star game and he started rapping, <laughs> yeah. you know, the players' names. He could have he killed, killed all that. that though. He killed nah, it. Nah, he killed that. He killed that. But he could have kept all that. He could have kept all that. <laughs> I don't want to hear you rhyme Giannis Annika, Annika Kupo, you know what I'm saying? And bro, that is, that is what a skill. What do you rhyme it with? What do you rhyme it with? Nobody. I don't know because I barely can say Giannis' last name. <laughs> That's, my point, <laughs> That's my point, though. I wasn't really trying to hear that. <laughs> hey, listen, I thought it was different. I thought it was dope that the NBA let him do that and really let him be himself. So I'm being a hater. You know. I'm being a hater. It was dope. It was dope. Slightly, slightly, like bro. I was being a hater. It was dope. It was dope. <laughs> come, don't come for me. I don't, I don't want no problems. Nah, you can't have beef with a legend. Nah, I can't. I can't. Especially this this young platform, you know, of mine, you know what I'm saying? Come and come down here, you know what I'm saying? Say, hand me, uh, what is it? Uh, Serena's racket, you know what I'm saying? Hit me with that shit. You know what I mean? I don't want no problem. I don't want no problem. Hey, it's all clear. We all good. But uh, let's get to the bigger picture. Right. Uh, some, You know, what stood out to you in the song? Uh, let's let's start uh, first with, with that. I think, man, with Lil Baby, the great parts about his songs is the first bars, man, he's coming out here. He's coming out here hitting. And then the first bars in the bigger picture, he says, trade my fofo for a G63. Ain't no more free little Steve. First off, that, that's a big thing just right there. You know what I'm saying? He's letting you know that he's upgrading in every department. That you, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, he said, I ain't got the fofo. I know you got a fofo, but I got a G63. I don't even know what the fuck a G63 is. <laughs> I don't want to find out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But the way that he just yeah. said that he upgraded and shit like that, and I don't think it was a problem. I, I think that was big. But then at the same time, he, he points on the fact of Free Lil Steve. Now, 
just watching little baby's interviews and stuff like that. I I rewatched the one with um him and Joe Budden. Mm-hmm. And the that's one a very good interview. He, the one thing he touched on, he said, but he always gives back. You know, he said he gives back, and that's what actually relieves his stress. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a big thing with a lot of Atlanta artists that a lot of people overlook. You know what I'm saying? Just from yeah. you know listening to the um to the drip too hard. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. just thinking about him on the road all the time and partying, but he's actually giving mm-hmm. back to the community and making sure everybody's straight. You know what I'm saying? And he yeah. said he said to himself, he said, you can't really hate on me because you know what I'm saying? Everybody's just going to look at you like you the hater. You know? Yeah. He's so, been consistent with that. That's been the message from, from the jump. From the jump. And then going pretty much, I'm gonna break down this this first four bars. So we got right. the we got the four four to the G six three, free Lil Steve, gave him a chance and chance and chance again. I even done told them please. He asking, bro. He asking politely. If you can see right there, is is saying, bro. I've already tried the way that y'all want me or want us as a society to do this. Mm-hmm. Please, please. I even said please. You know. But then he goes and he says, "Police shoot you. No, you're dead, but still tell you to freeze." Now you see what I'm saying? Came out the gate hot. You came out the gate hot. Those four bars right there, I think, set the tone for the whole song on what the bigger picture is. And then I feel like going into his chorus, he's saying it's bigger than black and white. It's a it's a problem with the whole way of life. It ain't changing overnight. He's, he's, he's pretty much tackling the entire problem of, of what is going on in today's society, you know? And mm-hmm. that's uh, very simple, too. Because, you know, if, if you sit down and you have this discussion, first thing go to, oh, so it's a black and white thing. Uh, it's a black thing. It's a white problem. You know what I'm saying? And he's saying yeah. it's not that. It's, it's the whole way of life in America. And I feel like him touching on that, you know? And when you think a little baby, you're going to say, oh, all he says is, uh, uh, what is it? Drip, swag. You you put them in that category of of you know what I'm saying like the futures, the gunners, mm-hmm. the mumble rappers. Everyone's like, yeah, like, the mumble he gets rappers. that title. Yeah, he gets that title. But he's spitting bars. He's spitting. It's a fact. He's spitting, uh, and I I I appreciate little baby putting this out right at the uh the fact of him going out there as well of him actually demonstrating instead of just talking. You know, it's it's mm-hmm. a lot. He did action and then did the talking instead of talking with no action. So I really appreciate appreciate the way that Lil Baby tackled that. Anything that that you saw in those lyrics that stood out? Uh, that first verse really, you know, um, it really like like you said, he came out the gate. The line where he's talking about it's too many mother, it's too many mothers that's grieving. They killing us for no reason. Been going on for too long to even get. It to even get even. Uh, throw us in cages like dogs and hyenas. I went to court, they sent me to prison. My mom was crushed, they said I can't leave. First I was drunk, then sobered up quick. I heard all that time they gave to Talib. He got a life sentence plus. We just a product of our environment. How the fuck they gonna blame us? And that's like, that was, it really, I mean, from, from the beginning part, it's too many mothers that's grieving. Like one thing I, I, I always think about is like, whenever I see all these things is like, man, how will my mom react? if it was me that was on this tape, you know? Right. And it's like, I think if a, a lot of people who be who sit there and be like, oh, well, he was, a, he was resistant, he was doing this, or he was a criminal, you know, people love to throw out any different reason to be like, oh, to justify why these things happen, you know? Right. But it's like, that's somebody's child at the end of the day. Right. You know? And imagine how your mother would feel if that was you. You know, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to those right. people. No, no, I'm, um, I understand. You know, like, how would y'all feel if, if y'all mothers was out here? You know, how many times have you seen these mothers have to get in front of a camera and then basically address a bigger issue while still grieving the loss of their child? So, you know, like, I just thought, like, obviously I've listened to a lot of little Baby and I've listened to a lot of his interviews. And, like, I could tell he's a lot smarter than people give him credit for. Right. And so it was, it was good to see him talking on this, you know, like, throwing us in cages like dogs and hyenas. Um, he's talking about his, how, you know, his boy got a life sentence plus. Like they get giving out sentences to some of these people like 133 years. Yeah. Just, Ain't no. I don't. Just I don't say know. life. Like yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know. Like I don't really even know how to explain it. But it just feels like 
Like you know, I get, obviously they're trying to send a message. I get why they do it because it's just like for your charges, you get you get a certain amount of years. So once all your charges add up, then mm-hmm. it's just like, well, you already did is is one life, is the second, third. But at the same time, it's just like, bro, I'm being for like, just say that. Just say that. Yeah. There ain't no point in being like, you got 133 plus 33 years. Like, all right, bet. So I got 160 years. Cool. Like, like in going. case I lived that long, like what y'all gonna do? Free me? Thanks. <laughs> just say I got life. Like it's as simple as that. I don't know. That's a personal thing, but maybe I'm maybe I'm nitpicking, I don't know. Um, but the you know, we just products of our environments, how the fuck they gonna blame us. That lyric also really stood out to me because it reminds me of um NWA and when when they first came out and people was like, Oh, the music is too raw, you know, it paints a bad picture of life. And it was like, I we make reality music. So right. if you don't like our music, change our reality. Right. And you know, that was what? How long ago did N- NWA first come on the scene to now we're here with little baby? The same, you know, this is generations of people coming up and saying the exact same thing. Like when people ask, oh, you know, I'm so I'm just so surprised that this stuff is happening. It's like, bro, people have been trying to tell y'all for generations. <laughs> like, thanks, bro. And it's just like, well, the, and it's because I feel like a lot of people don't see it. You hear it in music, and it's just like, oh, like you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people yeah. hear the lyric fofo to a G six three and it's just like oh he's just got one you know what i'm saying but it's like you don't understand yeah. why he has it you yeah. know what i'm saying you don't understand what he goes through on a day-to-day basis you know what i mean and the reason That's why you, why you gotta protect yourself you know yeah and it's it's you know it's so much there's so much more that goes on like you said that people know and are even willing to know to be honest so i was i was excited that somebody who really has everyone's attention right now was speaking on this and speaking on it so well. So that was, you know, that was, that was one other line. Uh, anything out of like verse two or three that stood out to you? Um, what, what we've got in verse two that you think stand out or three? Um, let me see. Uh, I like the line where he was like, I got power. Now I got to say something. Corrupted police been a problem where I'm from, but I'd be lying if, if I said it was all of them. No, I thought um, that one, when, you know, like that was um, also we talked about earlier in the verse, he talked about, you know, I'm, I'm out on the front line with this stuff like that. Uh, and obviously, if you've seen the video, you, you see he was really out on the front lines. Um, but I think there's an issue, you know, as we talked about on the podcast with just like there, there have been corrupt officers and, I, you know, like I want to keep saying obviously, but like we know that not all of them are bad. Right. But at the same time, you are just as bad as the one doing it if you're not saying anything. So, you know, it, it's just like, it's, it's been an issue. And like, we both are from the South. So we, we get no, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and people, yeah. I feel like people just don't understand though. Like, like you don't understand it. It's just like, since you're kids. Like, I remember one yeah. time in middle school, right? I was walking through the hallway, going to my next class. I take a look to the right, bro. It's six officers on like one kid. It's like, bro, it takes six of y'all to get one kid. Is like one twenty. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro, trust me, I get you. Like I see like, a ninety pound kid, three of them on top of three grown ass men on top of a kid that don't weigh a hundred pounds. What's the reason? What's the reason, bro? He's resisting. Um, like, bro, he I, he can resist me. I think I could still be able to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trained. I'm not getting paid yeah. for this. You know, but ah, nah, definitely. Uh, but at the one same, other, one, at the same oh, time, no, like, we we do gotta we do gotta p- put that message out there. That it's not all police. Like we don't yeah. we don't have a problem with every. I know some police officers. You know what I'm saying? Same. And they're uh, same. Great people. You know what I'm saying? But at the same yeah. time, we're we're trying to like give you all the understanding that that's a job. You can go home. You can take your badge. Exactly. Off. You can relax. You can't do that being black. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I can't just, it's not like that. <laughs> What's that commercial uh, with Jason Momoa where he takes off, you know, all the muscles all the and all that? Like, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't take this off. You know, this is this is me 24-7. Facts. Um, another thing uh, Lil Baby says is, uh, you know, in that second verse, altercation with the law had a lot of them. people speaking for the people. I'm proud of them. Stick, stick together. We can get it up out of them. I can't lie like I don't rap about killing and dope, but I'm telling my youngest to vote. I did what I did because I had no choice on a hope. I was forced to just jump in and go. 
this is the, this is all the bullshit we know, but it's time for a change. Got to be serious. No time for games. We ain't talking no more. Let's go get. Let's go from them. Let us go from them chains. God bless their souls. Every one of them names. I don't know. To me, it's just he was spitting. He was spitting. Yeah, like he he, he was spitting. That's, there's there's no other spitting. way to put it. You know, like uh, he acknowledges the fact that you know he knows what type of music he makes. But again, as he stated in verse one, like his music is a reality of his environment and the product that he was. You know, and he's reiterating that in this part. You know, like I I was forced to jump in. I didn't I didn't do what I did because I wanted to do it. I had no choice. There was no hope where I come from. And I think sometimes like people are very quick to forget that like people are thrown into very, very shitty situations. I'm not saying that they do the right thing in those situations, but at the same time, it's human nature to want to survive. So right. if you put somebody in a terrible situation, they're going to want to find any and every way to find, to get their way out of it. Right. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, you know, any race across this planet, you put them in a, in a situation where they got to be a dog to eat. Don't be surprised that I'm going to start barking. Like, <laughs> Thugs. And people, people just like go get a job, bro. You understand the minimum wage down here is seven twenty five, right? <laughs> you can be working, you can be working eighty hour shifts. You ain't gonna be able to pay rent, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like people don't get that. Like that's a fact. Rod Wave had uh, what's it? In one, I think in in the greatest, he said something about went to school all twelve years just to get a job selling donuts. Talking about minimum wage, man. I'm done with that modern day slavery. Same in Florida, but it's like eight dollars in Florida. Oh, y'all got eight? Y'all got eight over there? I mean, shit. <laughs> hey, come on now, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm a pass, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But nah, bro. Cause bro, no, I might I'm, be wrong. I, but it's not it, that high. Ab, you ever work a minimum wage job? You ever worked that eight dollars? Yes, day? bro. Yes. <laughs> and people want to test you the most when you work a minimum wage job. You like, don't let this little eight dollars fool you. I will still seven dollars. <laughs> seven dollars. <laughs> I'll miss the whole day. I'll come back. <laughs> like what? Seven dollars. <laughs> Yo, I swear you deal with the most bullshit when you want a minimum wage job. I swear. Oh I don't know God. about your experience, but at least on mine, people just, people trying you on a job. Like, not, even get, just, not even get on the topic, bro. I got fired for my minimum wage job, bro. I got fired. <laughs> hey, listen to this. I got fired. My boss got fired a month after for scheming money, bro. Like, even the boss ain't getting paid enough, bro. <laughs> like, it's how it would be, though. It's like, really bro. how it would be sometimes. <laughs> Seven dollars, bro. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, anything from two or three, real quick, uh, to get back onto the bigger, bigger picture before I, we hop over to uh, we paid. I think the last bar that we need to touch on, though, is he's saying he's telling everyone to go out there and vote. I think that was mm-hmm. a big bar, um, especially. Uh, in Atlanta, I feel like a lot of people don't go out and vote. I already voted, so y'all ain't got to keep telling me, sending me the, you know, I'm getting text messages four or five times a day. Did you go vote? Hi, Carl. <laughs> like, bro, I don't know you, but I voted, right? Like, <laughs> stop hitting my phone up. That's good, though. Make sure you get it out there and vote. Yeah. So, I saw y'all had a lot of problems in Atlanta with, with voting. Uh, polling stations were closed in a lot of the black areas. So, you know, for any of y'all who are watching this in the metro Atlanta area, don't let them suppress your voice. Get out there, be heard. So, exactly. You know, do what you got to do. Um, but, little baby, I don't, I really don't even know what to say. But you really, you you had. I don't want to say you didn't have to snap, snap this hard, because you definitely did. But you delivered ten times over on the bigger picture. Uh, I don't know. Let's give it. Let's see. Give the people a rating. You know, for those who haven't heard the song yet. Oh, we we uh, rating songs out of ten, man. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it on the bar for bar. For little baby, you know what I'm saying? Bigger picture. I'd have to give it a out of ten. I would say it's a nine. I would say it's a nine, nine point two. Um so it was up four. there. Especially yeah. just because a lot of people, you know, it's not gonna be one of his best songs, you know what I'm saying? Even though I gave it such a high rating, but it's about the message that was put into the song. It might not be his best, but most it could be his most important song. It could be one of his saying. most important songs. It's definitely a top five song right now for me in his catalog of what he's already put out. And he's put, out, he's put out hits. You know, you got Baby and Gunna. They're going to be, bro, they've been putting out hits. Right? He even got Drake no, sprinkling the OVO on it. You know what I'm saying? But this <laughs> is going to be in, the, in his top five, you know, for me. You know, I, I don't know, too. All right, so let's turn to a song off of uh, My Turn, the deluxe version. Uh, we paid Lil Baby and 42 Doug. 
uh, this is definitely a, a Batman and Robin tag team. You know, they snap. Can can we first state that little baby need to just have have someone on the song? Every other song, bro, I don't know what it is, but little baby might be the best. Little baby might be the LeBron James right now at this rap game. Not the LeBron. Actually, you see it right there, Dwayne Wade. This man He's might be the Wayne Wade of these, <laughs> of these team up uh, songs, bro. Like every every time he get on the song with someone else, he it just works. It's magic. It does, yeah. And it's not an easy thing to do. That's that's definitely not an easy thing to do at all. Right, right. But we talk about we paid. Let's go back into it, man. Like I say, Lil Baby always comes to the to. I feel like his first bar is always going to be that that first punch, you know what I'm saying, in the song. And on this song, he didn't even do the first bar. 42 Doug did it. He told Doug came in hot. <laughs> he, he probably tapped Doug on the shoulder. He said, but listen, you know, these first verses are important. Doug said, I got you. And the first verse he said was, boy, I go broke like Jock. Fuck with that dog like that, bro. And let me tell you something. Being from Atlanta, bro, those, those two simple bars, man, made the song for me. Meet the song, bro. <laughs> That's all you need to song. hear. That's all I need to hear, bro. I was thinking about it yesterday, man. What if Michael Vick was still there, man? Hooping for us. We would have got a ring, bro. We would have beat the Patriots. We would have Patriots. Patriots. <laughs> we would have beat the Patriots. It would have been the Falcons, huh? Man, you was there that day, bro, when we lost. I, I was. I felt for you, bro. I was rooting for y'all. It's need- crazy because I'm a Bucks fan, but I just <laughs> want the Patriots to win again. This is the thing, A.B., I didn't even care about the game, bro. I didn't care about it at all. You you really didn't. I I, I would put this disclaimer out there because I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, he says that now. But really, even while they were up, Carl really wasn't saying much. Then at halftime, I feel like you kind of started to care. At halftime, my dad <laughs> texted me and said, we out in the streets, bro. Everybody in Atlanta was lit, bro. We was out here celebrating. I said, oh, they can't blow this. They can't blow this lead. And they blew it. They hand they the stick. Away. They hand the sticks over, bro. How you hand the stick? I don't want to think about it, bro. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. I don't want to bring up bad memories for you. But but. also in that bar, he said, before I go broke like Jock. Now. Did you see young Jock's response? Because he has responded to this. Jock shouldn't have said nothing, bro. Jock shouldn't. See, this is the thing. I know Jock be working hard, bro. I know he be working hard. Everyone out here dissed him. Talking about what his (laughs) He got the transformable hair, you know. <laughs> he got the auto, uh, got the Autobot. He got the Autobot hair product. You know what I'm saying, like, bro. Leave Jock alone, bro. Jock, Jock was one of the first out here, you know, saying it's going down, bro. He put putting the slang on there, everybody bumping it. Then he fell off, bro. Let's be honest, Atlanta. It happens. It happens. It bro. does. It does. Yeah. And you just gotta after after that one song, you gotta figure out, okay, how do I progress myself as a person in life? And I feel like mm-hmm. Jock is I wouldn't say he did that, but he he's he's trying. It's the effort that counts, right? It's he can come back. He can come back. Don't count on a second half comeback. Not to not to touch on not to touch on that game, but hey, a second half comeback is not that hard in Atlanta. <laughs> You telling me y'all gonna come back? <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. Did you expect LL Cool J to come back like the way he did? You not think that, Jock no, gonna Jock do that? Go, <laughs> 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 AB, AB. Hey, listen. I don't know what Young Jock is gonna do in the future. I know, I know. he. I'm I know saying, he need to. He need to leave. Might happen. He need to leave. Might me. happen. He had a great run. You just gotta sometimes leave. You know what I'm saying? Jock had everybody. Don't don't sleep on it. I'm not sleeping on it. I'm just saying, can he do that again? All it takes is one song. That's all I'm saying. You seen Soldier Boy, right? Soldier <laughs> Boy was bigger than Jock. Soldier Boy was bigger than Jock. Soldier Boy put out a lot of music. Did he come back? Who said Big Draco ain't good in the hood? Come on, he had a he had a second little. He wasn't. <laughs> you seen the video. He wasn't good. He, in wasn't, that hood. he wasn't, but he, he wasn't he good wasn't. in that hood at all. He just never he said that. But he slowly came. He slowly like, oh no. He he had some momentum. No, so and that's then, what I'm oh, saying though. Kinda. So so Jock can do that. Jock can definitely bring his name back out in these streets. But he don't need to get in that booth. He don't need to get in that booth. <laughs> he don't need to do that. Jock, you heard it here on Bar for Bar. Carl told you, stay out the booth. 
He, I mean, bro, he a grown man. He can do what he want to do. I'm just saying, me personally, I mean, he's he doing all right with the love and hip-hop thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, he, he still yeah. has his name out here, but I don't think he need to focus on, on rapping. I mean, if, if he wakes up and has a fire 16, I mean, write it down. But, like, <laughs> I wouldn't say go record it, like, immediately. But that's just me, man. <laughs> you said write it down and think about it. <laughs> think about it. Just think about it. You know, tell, tell a couple of your friends, you know what I mean? Play play a little bit. Get a little instrumental. But, I mean, don't – you got bigger don't. and better things to do. And, and you're doing them, too. You're doing them, so. All right. So, so 42 Doug let y'all know. He, he can't go broke like Jock. But fuck with that dog like Vic. Very Atlanta uh, – very Atlanta references. And what, so, what people don't get, he's not from Atlanta. No, he's from Detroit, ain't he? He's from he? Detroit. Yeah. yeah. So, but, I mean, he'd be in Atlanta, I guess, if he rolling, you know. Yeah, he's there now. He's there now. I mean, it's, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, almost everybody, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got Dirk down here now, you know what I'm saying? We got, who else we got? We got Doug. Who else being in Atlanta? Everybody be in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Because Everybody do be in Atlanta. <laughs> we, got, we got the sauce. I just want everyone to know that. We got the sauce. Talk your shit. You got the song. I don't name another name another city doing it like us at this music though. And I, I don't want to hear nothing from New Yorkers. All right, man. man <laughs> back in the nineties, we had the New York. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and start this North versus South thing back up. Hey, man, understand you know, something. New York. We, we know plenty of New Yorkers who watch this podcast, and we'll be watching this bar for bar. Oh, so talk to them right I now. Had, I had this argument way back, and and uh, this this one kid from New York said. Man, all y'all got is the Migos future. That's it. And I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's let's y'all like that. Y'all not gonna do that. We got little baby. We got Gunna. We we got new. We got waves of this. Ti could go back in that booth and teach y'all something. I right? like understand. Ludacris. Ludacris came back for a little bit. Um, who else? Don't don't make Andre three thousand come back. Andre three thousand like, step back in the booth. It's over. I feel like a lot of people forgot. I feel like a lot of people forgot. Um, they can't. They can't. I forgot. They, can't. That's greatness. That's that's real life greatness. I mean, we got big boy. Uh, I mean, I could be here for days. We could we could yeah. sit down. You, we could be here for days. Yeah. Let's but, get back to the bar for bar. Let's get back yeah, to we pay. Let's focus but, on current Atlanta artists. Back to or, back to we pay. current Atlanta artists. Yeah. So what but, are, you, are your thoughts on the chorus, or is there anything else in verse one that you? you, are, that, you know? That's exactly what I was about to touch on next. That chorus. All right. Man. Of course. It. Yeah, you you say it, you say it, because you know me. I might get nah, too nah, excited. I'm, you know? I'm, I'm gonna let it's, you go ahead. I'm gonna let you. Go ahead. This is bar it's for bar with Carl. I'm just teeing it up, letting you do your thing. So go it's ahead. Because I ain't gonna hold you. I got half the chorus written down. I ain't got the whole chorus written now. <laughs> so like, right, you know, I mean, it, it just I don't even know how what to say. Like other than they snap. He said, and I, you go. go I feel like I don't know. You seen uh, what's what's that in the Avengers when like. Captain America and somebody else was both taking turns and just beating somebody ass. Oh, and Thor. <laughs> that's and they got yes. the hammer. <laughs> yeah, the hammer. Yes. Yeah. That's how I felt like the two of them did to this beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Like, but anyway, go ahead. Give 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 me your take on it. All I gotta say is he got four in cards and about five in jewelry. The way he said that, he said it. He said it casual. He ain't got about like four in cards, five in jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I said, hold up, what? <laughs> And bowling cars, five and Joe. Is that just you or is that for the whole team? Like, what we had to had to run that one back. Like, why you got four cars, bro? You can't even drive them all. Like, yo. I don't think he could drive that off. He probably can't. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, he got... I wouldn't be driving the dog, bro. but I mean, little baby, I wouldn't be driving. He'd, he'd be driving around, yeah. So, I don't know. Hey, if he do, he do. Props to him, but no, oh my, my ass be driving in an expensive ass car. Five and jewelry. <laughs> the five and jewelry, we gotta we gotta just stick under that line for the all in part. But just with the we paid to going going to the visual side of it, they had the Hellcats out there, bro. They had the Hellcats. I know the road they was driving on. I drove on that road. Dude, they shouldn't be when driving. they crashed the <laughs> bitches. <laughs> I'm amazed they ain't crashed the bitches. Somebody came to actually hey. knew what they was doing. <laughs> No, they hit they low key hit like just a little bit. In the video. If you oh, on the mailbox, it. right? When they when yeah. they were swerving? Yeah, yeah. man. They, they just lucky it wasn't the house. Because that, that road is thin, bro. Like, it's it's literally, it? some, it's like a what you call it, bro. You know, like, those roads where you have, um, 
it's not two lanes. It's like a lane and a half. Yeah, it's yeah. one of them. Most southern, most southern it's, road. It's a little southern road. So like, bro, when they was spinning out, I said, "Oh, they wild." <laughs> I said, <laughs> I, "I said, I hope they got insurance on them on all four, bro, <laughs> on all four, because man, it's gonna end very left." But it didn't. I mean, I mean, good for them. But I like what you how think they. The, yeah. No, you said great. I was gonna you say like I like how they do it. How they they filmed it right there in the in the hood, man. I like I like how they're not doing nothing too extravagant with it, even though we paid. We still be back at the crib, you know what I'm saying? I, I really like that and how it, it kind of teaches to um always come back to your community and help out. I, I'm also awesome definitely. That. Uh, I get the commas with numbers that's period. I got your BM one put on the mirrors. First young nigga in the A with two lambs. Run a 14 mil, started 14 grams. Same day. Doughboy Dickies and Diamonds and Tims. You shouldn't play with that boy. He is not one of them. See thoughts with this. When he said same day, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> like, there's no way. Like, that don't add up. Like, I, I did the math. I got my phone out. I said, like, nah, bro. Not same day. He, he, maybe he was talking about he got the lamb the same day. He, we gonna have to, one day we're going to have him on this podcast. We'll interview him. You can break this bar down with him. I don't think he he'll want. give you the full meeting. I don't think he wants to nah, talk he about not, it. He not gonna, yeah, he's not going to talk and like, about I, it. I'm not going to pressure him on it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that, that didn't add up. That didn't. That just didn't. I think everyone that heard that part, it sounded good. When I when I heard it, I said, "Oh, fourteen and same day. Okay, I can do that. I can do that, man." Like it was inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But in all reality, I I don't see anyone being able to do that at all. I feel you. I definitely feel you on that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I kept taking L's. Finally, got me an M. Still making double. I don't count what I spent. S550 2018, got to come 20 if you hopping in a Benz. Young turn nigga from the D to the A, I'm rocking with the Lions. Yeah, I'm rocking with the Braves. Yeah, 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 we paid. Yeah, 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 we paid. I liked it. Like I, like I said, Thor and Captain America just beating this beat ass. Like, they really just snatched. And I, I liked how they did that, and then – um. Who else did it? Yachty and uh, T Grizzly. They did the D today mm-hmm. too. D today, yeah. That definitely was a little, um, you know, paying a little homage to them because I feel like they all are, like, I don't know. They cool with each other at least. Yeah, know, I feel like they got a circle and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, little baby's verse thoughts on on his solo verse. You know, I'm gonna I turn mean, it up a little more this time. Used to dream about getting it. Now I got it. I don't drive. Had a spot like a varsity. What do you have? You buy 20, I'll front what you buy. I put on drip, I believe I could fly. Niggas know that I'm rich, but they know not to try. I had a show in Detroit. I stopped at Revive. And I stopped at Revive. I think, like, a lot of people skip over this, but he's talking about the varsity. A lot of people don't know because they're not in the A what the varsity is. The varsity is a food place, you know what I'm saying? Way back old school where they serve hot dogs, chili dogs. I don't know if they got burgers in there. I think they do. Like, but it's like where everybody going to field trip and stuff when you go to the A and stuff like that. Gotta if you're ever in the okay. A, go and go and get something to eat at the bar city. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's lit. And it's big. So like it's like uh let me see how to break this down. It's like if you went to a, a basketball game, let's say like an NBA mm-hmm. court. So it's like four of those. And it's just like a bunch of places where you can get food and it's a bunch of people there. So it's like probably, I would say like a couple thousand people always there mm-hmm. just waiting to get hot dogs. And you got like 50 cashiers <clears throat> in a, in a line and everyone's just sitting there in line trying to get food. Okay. So he's saying his crib's that big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I feel it, like that, that definitely went over a lot of people's head, including mine, because I, I'm yeah. like, you know, not from Atlanta, so I didn't know. I thought he was talking like, you know, Spot like a team, but I guess that is a double entendre. Like it's a spot double. on a varsity team. You yeah, know? but now you talking yeah. about the food place. And if you've okay. been there, you are gonna be sitting there like, man, his crib really this big. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. He did little uh, MTV cribs, like little little like welcome to my crib by just talking about nothing. That was crazy, bro. I'm just trying to have a spot like a Piccadilly, bro. I ain't even asking for a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, the varsity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right what do you think about this this should have happened i'm praying i'm giving up tiger stay with the wood make him give it up you no know, i ran through a mill every week hopping weed bro beat the charge i could get me some sleep 
I got a back in to pick it up. I won't even leave. Run it up, fuck around, give the vet to DT. Keep a hot boy with me. I got love for BG. Chasing this paper since 12 or 13. Run around in these streets. It was me and Marquise. I think, bro, he's paying homage. Like, if you ever listen to Lil Baby, you talking about Wayne a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, BG, hot yeah. boys. Yeah. And I, that, to me, was one of my favorite lines. Cause, if you know, anyone know in the A, Wayne, <laughs> Wayne is literally from Atlanta. But like, if you ask anyone out here who they best, their favorite rapper is, it's going to be Wayne. It's going to be Wayne down here. Every, everywhere from Virginia down is Wayne. Wayne yeah. Five be to go rap. You know it. You, you know don't it. hurt me. It's, you, we, I don't go back and forth on the podcast. If you watch the full podcast episode, you know where I stand on, on Wayne. I stand there too, but then you had to argue with me. You, <laughs> you had to argue with me. I don't know. But you were supposed to be there up. backing me. You were supposed to be there backing me up, holding it down. We were supposed to be on the Wayne trip, like just holding it you, down. Let's let's go over this argument real quick. It was Kanye West, you know, Jebby brought it up. He said he's a better artist than Lil Wayne. But he said in all art platforms. Wayne just raps. Kanye does the beat production raps. Ghost writes has ghost writers. He he just does so much more than Wayne though. If you got the yeah. Yeezys, he got come on man. Come on man. All right, listen, you know what? For those who listen to the full podcast, I'm I'm gonna save them the time because we done gone back and forth on this a million times on the actual podcast. So maybe some people might have been escaping the actual argument of that and came over to the bar for bar, hoping we would talk about something other than Wayne versus <laughs> Yeah. No, thanks. So, <laughs> get so back we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get back to to baby and uh forty two Doug we paid anything else on that song that stood out to you and uh give the people you know a final ranking or on the song um let me just say that little baby with this one and i feel like a lot of people overlook this like people would probably think you know baby just hop on the song just spits a little verse here and there but for you to be able to construct the song with you and another person and y'all don't Y'all aren't out of touch or out of tune at all during the song. There ain't no resting period, you know what I'm saying? It shows that he actually sits down and he he actually sits down and knows what he's talking about. 42 occasion. <laughs> occasion. And when he said that, <laughs> he, he's thinking, bro, that, yes, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what I would say about the song. And then for ranking, we paid. Out of 10, I would give this one a 8.7, 8.8. Okay, still very solid. Just because I listened to it way too much. It was a nine, and then I I played it like- You overplayed it, yeah. I played it back to back like 10 times, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) And just, just, you know, like when you be listening to the radio and it's just like DJ run it back, but like the first 10 seconds, I just listened to it like like 10 10 bars, you know, I mean 10 times. (laughs) Sometimes you might get distracted. That part you know hit just didn't hit the same. You gotta run it back, listen to it again. You just just DJ. Keep it, keep it going. I feel I feel you. I feel you. All right, eight point eight for we paid. Now let's move to our final song on this episode of Bar for Bar. We got all in also off of my turn, Deluxe. So this is a solo little baby song. You know, give me first impressions, first thoughts about this, and uh we can break down some verses and chorus. Mama Ben told me don't get no poor performance. And whatever you gonna do, just do it. And I never thought about doing music. Oh my god, bro. Once again, right out the gate, man. He's just punching. He's just punching, man. He's just punching these songs, man. Little baby just need to go to the radio and just be like, this is what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to get all my songs, 15 second cut them. And just put them all back to back. Just play it. Just play it for the day in Atlanta. Streets be crazy, bro. <laughs> I've been told my mom, don't get, my mom been told me, my fault. My mom been told me don't get no poor performance. I'm almost keeping it straight out, off the jump. Off the jump. Money and doing music. Never thought about doing music. And I, I feel like that just shows, you know, kind of his backstory of like, if you ever listen to him, like explain it. He was like, bro, I ain't thinking about doing no music. Young Thug was in the community, told me, you know, hey, you need to sit down and do some music. And he already knew Q and them. And they, they set them down, you know? And I feel like that's, like, mm-hmm. the big thing, kind of even with the We Paid, you know, where they have the um the visual of them back in the city. And it's just a lot of those artists, you know, reaching out and, you know, trying to prepare that next generation for to be great, you know? So I, I mm-hmm. really, I really, uh, 
the visual as well as him saying it at the same time, kind of just strengthening that argument of coming back to the city and giving back. Okay. So we go from there out the gate. He comes out hot. I was trying to build my phone up contact our contacts full of drug abusers riding around with that Mexican trying to figure out what my cousin doing prison with the Migos found out they were selling bricks, Wish I would have known that shit. I would have been lit. Swear to God, since I was 17, I've been hood rich. I'll be a James Harden house. I'm in Houston all in. I'm all in Houston in the mix. In the mix, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> first off, you got to go to Houston and get your jewelry. I mean, we got Icebox here in Atlanta, too. You know what I'm saying? And that, Shout out to your local business. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be in Icebox. I be watching them. You know what I'm saying? Once I give me a little <laughs> money, you know what I'm saying? I just want a little tennis chain. You know what I mean? Nothing too crazy. Yeah. I ain't even going to wear it out. Keep it simple. But just, you know, hey, I got something from Icebox. I just had the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had the bag out here. <laughs> But, yo, man, Icebox been killing it. And Johnny Dang out there in Texas in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Um, But then also, what was it? What was it? He was like, uh, the contact. I feel like the contacts, it, it kind of just gives context to, you know, his life before rap. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like, <clears throat> you never know what you're going to end up blowing up in. I mean, yeah. And I feel like that's towards, like, the younger generation and the kids, you know. Whatever you do, just do it, you know. Mm. Kind of like Nike. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a shout-out to Nike, too, you know. <laughs> but uh, even though he'd be with Reebok, I think he'd be with Reebok. I ain't going to. You know, okay, like, I don't know. Messes yeah. and mess up and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> uh, what he's saying, though, is whatever you do, you got to put your all in. You got to put the time in. Like, people think, you know you just wake up and you become a star and it's just like, no, it's a lot of effort and a lot of time that these uh, rappers, uh, whatever, whatever you want to do, it takes time to master your craft. So you got to sit down mm-hmm. and actually put the time into it. Which I, uh, I, I really connected with that verse. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I'm going to skip down a little further in the verse. Uh, what's, he, what's he saying? I don't got to sell drugs no more. I'm boss stuff. I got plenty of business. Riding around in that lamb truck, I rent this bitch, it ain't rented. Giving out my respect, get respect in every city. Niggas know I came up, but I came back through the slums with Diddy. Fucked around and got plugged in. I'm trying to buy that, buy that red Richard Millie. Stay out my little brother business, just know I'm getting millions. Facts. And I mean, bro, it's just, it's just talking about his work ethic again and kind of just showing you what comes from with all that work ethic, like what you can achieve at the end of the day, you know? And I feel like that's really important because a lot of people don't know, you know, hey, I'm going in here and I'm doing maybe a nine to five or hey, man, you know, I'm I'm going to school right now and I don't really understand why I'm going to school. But at the end of the day, it's just like you got to put that time in and then reap your uh, rewards afterwards. You know, whether it's a rich Millie, whether it's a, a diploma, whether it's, you know, rent money, whatever, whatever your your goal is, you you got to strive and achieve it, you know. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, I, I also like the, you know, giving out my respect, get respect in every city. I think something that really gets lost with a lot of people uh, is just that you got to give respect to get respect, you know? No, and uh, especially when you're in another person's city, you know how many people we done seen get ran up on in, in other people's city for, you know, talking crazy about somebody online and all of a sudden you was in somebody's city. That's why you just got to be respectful. You know, like, you don't see little Baby getting in beef with nobody. Like, he's just doing his own thing. And that's probably why, you know, he could confidently get on a track and say, give it all my respect, get respect in every city. Right. So, I mean, this is for all y'all upcoming, you know, whoever you think you is. Everybody can get touched out here. <laughs> everybody. It don't, matter how much, it don't matter how much money you got, bro. Everybody. Lil Baby said it, too, right? He said anybody can get touched. It's just, you know, you got to put that respect out there and not put that energy out there. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for a problem, you probably going to end up finding one, you know? So, I mean, it's it's just keeping that, that same energy and, and being positive, you know? Yeah. The you chorus, thoughts on the chorus and, and you know, the the second verse? Uh, I like the part where he was talking about house, house vibes everywhere. It just shows, like, his, his mental, you know what I'm saying? He's not really... Yeah. He's actually showing you that he's enjoying now what he's doing, you know, where he, yeah. he was more focused, I feel like, on the money and everything. And going back to the to the about five in jury, I know I know I said stay focused on that. His man was cooking his jewelry in the in the pot. 
I don't know why y'all rappers keep cooking the jewelry in the pot. Just let the jewelers do do the cleaning. I right? like we, y'all got too much money for that. I right? like I understand. You fucking they jewelry up. Y'all want to flex and everything, but like let that let that pot go to what ten. You gonna have some burnt jewelry. That's all I'm letting y'all know, bro. I don't, <laughs> that's my hey. money itself. I mean, y'all got too much money to be cooking cooking jewelry in the pot, bro. Hey, it's a flex. It's a flex that, you know, one day, one day, you can flex on them too. I mean, I, I put my tennis chain in the pot because there ain't really much that, you know, that could go missing. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I burnt the tennis chain. All right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It but is what I, it is. Put my Rolex in there. I'm going to put a Rolly in the pot. <laughs> I'm going to let whoever works at all, uh, Icebox just figure that out for me. And it for you. Smart business right here. Business advice, too, from on bar for bar. You know, you get it all. Yeah, man. Wait a minute. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what y'all need. Put it in the comments. I got y'all. <laughs> um, verse two. I'm gonna just uh, 100 racks in dubs. 100 racks all in dubs. It ain't no folding me. I ain't no puppet. Ain't nobody controlling me. I go LeBron when it's crunch time. Ain't nobody holding me. Snapping, <laughs> snapping, bro. I mean, honestly, this is definitely a song that if you are you know, looking for any motivation, like a workout on a workout playlist. To me, this song just it's got to be there. You know, it's just it's motivation. It's just like it's that up tempo, you know, bro. Yeah, whatever you do, just do it. Go all in. Bye. Uh, you know, give uh, you know, give people your final thoughts on verse two and the chorus, and uh, hit them with hit them with a final score. I'm going to just hit y'all right out the gate. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of your time. Uh, we're going to go all in with, uh, I'll say, 8.5. Now, 8. you got to understand right. that an 8.5 a little baby, it may seem demeaning. But you got to understand that this man's been pumping out hits since the beginning, bro. Since the beginning. Since the beginning. So, mm-hmm. all in, I felt like it was a casual vibe. I feel like he wasn't really trying to push too much on on the listeners. But just letting them know that you got to be all in for this, you know, and just consistency. I feel like that was the main thing with this song is consistency. You always got to show up. You always got to put your all in. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in to the the new version of Bar for Bar with Carl. Carl is here breaking down every one of, you know, songs. Make sure you put in requests. Hit the man on social media. Hit our, our podcast pages on all social media. If there's any songs that you want Carl to break down, any upcoming artists, if you want to break down songs with Carl, he is, you know, he's here for it. He'll talk you through it. He is our, you know, our guy, everything music related at Banter with the Brothers. He'll get you right. You know, if you just need some new music to listen to, hit Carl for that too. He got you, you know. Uh, anything start, you want to say to people real quick? I'm going to start having a playlist for him, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Carl's saying? Bar for Bar playlist. We're going to charge y'all $1.99 though on Spotify. I ain't going to hold y'all. We, we making some money out there. So I ain't, I, hey, we ain't getting no more free. We tax it. <laughs> Unless I know you. If I know you, I might give you the password. Just don't give it to nobody. Um, How are we going to do four in cars and five in jewelry unless we start taxing? So. Right? Right? Little baby will not give them verses for free. That's what I heard. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Well, we appreciate you all rocking with us on Bar for Bar. This has been a banter with the Brothers exclusive. We'll see y'all next time.